What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. In this episode of using a blank for gaming, which by the way, I'll put the playlist down below so you can check out other episodes. We're gonna be using this time a 3D webcam. This is the Creative Blaster X Sense 3D. It is essentially a direct competitor to something out there like the Razer Stargazer, where it can 3D scan objects or your body. It can have that green screen effect where it eliminates the background of when you're like live streaming and stuff without you actually having to need a green screen. A ton of really cool things this webcam can do. But one of the coolest things is you can actually play games with like your hands and using 3D motion sensing and tracking technology. This thing is very powerful. There are a ton of apps and certain things like Intel's RealSense you can use this with. But since it is something pretty unique, I'm gonna try to find some games we can use this with and really game just with it sensing our hands and stuff like that. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I'll talk about it more at the end when we, uh, when we see how the whole gaming experience goes. But let's check this out. All right, so this first game, as you can kind of see already, it's seeing where my hands are. It's sensing the depth here. I think this is like a music and like a beat kind of game. I don't know how this is gonna work, but let's try it out. All right, grab, use two hands. Hey. All right, I got one. Got that one. Am I supposed, am I supposed to go to the beat? I don't know. Missed that somehow. Uh. <laughs> Got it. Got it. I feel like I'm catching flies or something. Okay, yeah, I got this. I got this. I think. Nope. This is really trippy. <laughs> got the phalange workouts here. This music's actually pretty good. I'm liking this. It's a solid beat, you know? I feel like I'm in the Matrix. Give me those things. Oh, all right. 88 out of 111, starting memory harmonization. What does that mean? Use one hand. Uh, oh, okay, okay, this is cool, this is cool. I'm like controlling like a, like a worm kind of thing. A light wave. Yeah. I need a little light trail. All right. All right. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Good stuff. Ah, I missed that one. All right, bring it back up. Keep it in the middle. There we go. Yeah. All right, so this is like phase three here of memory. Harmonization, I guess. Uh, that was cool, like a little obstacle course thing I gotta control. Now what? What is this? Use two hands. They want me to, oh man, they want me to go crazy. They want me to go crazy jazz hands. Crazy jazz hands. Look at my, look at my score going up. Look at my score going up. Crazy jazz hands here, crazy jazz hands. 7170 is my score. What just happened? What is going on right now? It's a teddy bear wearing a bra? Is that what this is? Memory complete. What a memory. <laughs> Got a nice little skill chain going here. Where are we on? 27, 28, 29. We're grabbing here. Donald Trump up in this. That was uncalled for. I dig this. Very soothing. It's very calm. We're underwater. The beat's nice and chill. Oh, I got a little tricky there. I probably look really ridiculous to you guys, don't I? That's all right. Hey. Digging it. Oh, let's go. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Got to get him out. Got to get him out. That's what we're doing. Jazz hands galore. Get him out of the thing. Untangle him. Untangle him. It's a pretty good score if I say so myself. Oh, it's a, he's a boat. It's a boat, guys. Memory complete. I remember being on the open sea. There's that. <laughs> All right, so I'm playing this game called Nevermind now. And I'm not too sure really what the whole premise of it is, but I'm a neuroprober. 
and uh, right now I could use my hand to kind of push the door open with the uh, the 3D webcam. But I'm a neuroprober who has to go in with my clients and help them with their their memories. So it's either a very creepy horror game, as you could see, or a you know peaceful, very relaxing experience, depending on what the client's memories are. And um, what's pretty cool about the uh, webcam here is it senses your heartbeat through your eyes, so it can tell when you're getting freaked out or relaxed. You can do things in the game like uh, pick objects up with your hands, or like, like I just did open a door. So you can see it's pretty freaky. What's going on in here? What is that? Can I push that? Oh, magic powers. Alright, what is... What is this? I gotta just like run along? I don't know. Okay, this is not good. Okay, I'm dying. I died. That was cool. That was a great memory. Oh man. I made it through the uh the death spikes. It was the worst birthday ever. And the picture is just lighting on fire and disintegrating in front of my eyes. Okay. Oh, I'm in this furnace. I'm in a furnace right now. Alright, now I'm on this little boat. And it's kind of peaceful now. The music is kind of uplifting, not, not so uh, creepy anymore. As you can see, the heartbeat up in the corner is looking alright. I'm not freaking out, it shows, so that's cool. All right, so I completed that uh, that first kind of mission there. I had to go through my client's memories and help him decide what did and didn't happen by a series of photographs we collected along these creepy memories, I guess. And now you can go through and pick which clients you want to go through and relive their memories. There's like an island spa one. Uh, just really different crazy adventures you can go on in this game. It's pretty bizarre. Let's check this one out real quick. Uh, I just picked a random one, and uh, we'll see how it is, and we'll kind of wrap this video up. It's going to be a creepy one again, isn't it? All these houses piled on top of each other. The screen's getting fuzzy because my memory's apparently fuzzy. I think it's how the game works. So you can actually knock on the door. That's pretty cool. What am I doing in this house? And we're going up a very long stairwell here. This is probably where it gets creepy again. Whoop! And there's blood all over the wall and floor. The room is dark and fuzzy. Oh man. This is gonna be creepy, I can tell already. What's going on? Why is there screaming? Oh man. You see, oh, okay, that's weird. That's weird. The cow's looking at me. The cow is looking at me. And we're going in the fridge, which has a life supply of milk. And there's bodies in here. Get your own damn milk. Push the push the thing. I have no idea what to do. I've just been walking around here for the past few minutes, but um this is going to give you a pretty good idea of what this game is all about. It's just a crazy psychological adventure game that you could use your hand with a 3D webcam to pick things up. It uses like some technology to measure your, your heart rate from your eyes from the camera. This game is bizarre. Didn't think you would get into a crazy uh, adventure like this in this episode, but uh, two games I've played have been pretty crazy. Can't play something like Counter-Strike, doesn't support that unfortunately. But uh, this has been uh, this has been pretty nuts. All right, so as you saw, pretty unique experience using this thing. I would like to see a more broad support with different games like I don't know Battlefield or Counter Strike. Even I don't know how it would work with using our hands, like sensing our hands for gaming or maybe like eye tracking. I don't know, but it'd be pretty cool to use something like that. And it gave us a new opportunity to game in a whole different way. I've used a lot of weird things on this series, but I was never able to game just directly with my hands, with no other objects, you know? So that was pretty cool. And this thing is still very new. There's a lot of room for improvement. It reminded me a lot kind of of like gaming with the Kinect, except this is a lot more advanced than the Kinect ever was. Uh, so that was really cool. 
And like I said, since it is so new, there's so much room for improvement. And just the possibilities with the whole Intel real sense is insane with this thing. This thing is very powerful. And I'm gonna be using this a lot now as my main webcam for when I'm streaming and like going live on Twitch and stuff like that for playing games. I love that whole green screen effect where it can illuminate the background. So that'll be cool. And just if you're someone who is constantly doing like business calls, there is a built-in uh, mic on here. If you're someone who's always in like Skype and Uvu, this is a great webcam. It's possible of 60 frames at uh, 720p and uh, the, the, the 1080p quality on this, I think is great as it is. A great dynamic range for a webcam. But altogether, a 3D webcam is just unlike anything I've tried before. A definitely interesting experience the games that I've played. So if you're interested in this, I'll put the link for that in the description down below. Right now it's only available on Mass Drops. So you can buy it on there. And let me know down below some things you want to see in the next episode for using a blank for gaming. I have some pretty good ideas, but I want to hear your guys' opinion. If you like this episode, please give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.